Bonnie even know when he left? No, Bonnie gave no f Imagine Andy walking him into the door and be like, Hey, Bonnie, where's my favorite toy? And Bonnie's like, The, the f are you talking about? I would slap that Hey, I'm Super Senpai, and today I'm just gonna list off everything I hate. Why? Because I can, and I got nothing else to do. So let's get this started. Number one, I hate when the pizza has pepperoni on it and the pepperoni's underneath the cheese. Pepperoni is an amazing meat. It's made that you have to make it either cook it, it gets crispy, it's just as the best flavor as possible in the world. If you put it underneath the cheese, it doesn't cook. You're losing the ability for it to be crispy. And pizza has cheese in it, which I'm lactose. So, I am literally going straight to Diarrhea Fest like no tomorrow because of this. So if I'm already doing that, I might as well enjoy the best way possible. So if you put the pepperoni underneath the cheese, f you because you're not using it to the full potential it deserves to be. When the restaurant only has one toilet for a guy, I get it. We guys, we have urinals. So why not? Sure, we pee and we go. But the issue here is when you go to a restaurant, everyone poops. So... It's like, before you eat a meal, you want to clear your stomach, after you want to clear your stomach. So, it's not like us guys are different than girls, so we should have more than one toilet in the washroom. I know some restaurants have more, thank you, but if you're a restaurant that only has one toilet, f*** you. It's not like we're going to the urinals. So I hate bugs, especially crickets because of the movie Mulan. See, I love that movie, and I thought crickets were cute. They look like little grasshoppers, and grasshoppers are kind of alright, so I was like, okay, let's do this. My dad went to the backyard, he caught a cricket, and he's like, all right, Sam, use your hands to catch a cricket. And it was the most ugly sh I have ever seen in my life. Like, like, what the f why would I want that in my house? I screamed and I ran away and I think got away, and my dad's like, what the f Like, I just spent like 10 minutes finding one for you and you don't want it? And it's like, Mulan, you lied to me. You know the moment when you go shopping and you have a lot of groceries, then you realize, oh, it's too heavy? I will never take a second trip to the car. Why? Because my honor is at stake. And secondly, I do not give a If I can't carry all the groceries one trip, those groceries can stay in the car and rot. I hate granola bars because you could have gone chocolate chips cookies, but you didn't. So here we are now. I hate the Seal from Pingu. That thing is the most scary ever. Look at that thing. That thing gave me nightmares for about two years of my life. What he does, he physically abuses Pingu and then he eats his only transportation that was alive and he made Pingu in bed. Like, what the f? Who the f thought that was a cute animation? I f hated it. F you people who thought this was amazing. Also, I find it weird how Pingu, a show that doesn't speak English or any language at all, I kind of understand him by his meow meow. But yeah, no, I feel you, Pingu. F you, seal. I hate needles. So whenever I have to donate blood or get needles done or anything, I literally just say, this is my arm, stab it in there. I'm gonna look this way. Don't ever let me look this way. If you make me see the needle, I will punch you in the face. That is how I do my needle shots. I hate Mulan too. Imagine if you have a beautiful story like Mulan where a young girl basically showed off all odds to protect her family and their honor by fighting against villains across the nation. That's actually a pretty cool story and at the end you get some lovable characters, overall happy story and super awesome grandma. The lovable characters you love become horny little boys that no one wants apparently. Mushu also finds out that his career is at risk if Mulan gets married so he has to break up Mulan because of stupid reasons. We find out the princesses fall in love with the stupid horny boys because they have never seen men in their lives, apparently. So now they're like, we failed the mission. And then luckily, Mulan's uh, fiance dies, all thanks to Mushu. And so Mulan's like, all right, I'll just marry the prince because I got no one. Shen comes back alive and the end. I think the worst part of the movie is the daughters. Oh my God, I want to be the whitest ever. I want a basic teen life. Like that has never happened in that century before. I did not understand the point of this sequel, except for the fact that they can make money. This isn't even the worst Disney sequel. This is just one I just saw recently. Toy Story 4. More like the biggest fest of ever. Toy Story 1. Beautiful story about two toys rivalry over the affection of a young boy. 
Oh, that just sounds weird. Two toys who are trying to find their place in the world with their owner, which is Andy, who loves his toys. At the end of the story, they find out that it's not that it's only, they only love one toy, it's the kid loves all his toys, and that's an important part of a child's lifehood. Toy Story 2, someone steals the toy that Andy loves. The toy realizes maybe he doesn't need the kid anymore, but he realizes the best part about being a toy is to make his smile. So he goes back to his home and then Andy's happy, everyone's happy at the end. Toy Story 3, Andy's grown up, he's going to university. This is around the same age I was going to university. So that made me really emotional because I'm like, I have to say goodbye to my toys. All the toys try to run away saying, look, we don't want to be with Andy because when he throws it away, there was just no meaning for us. And turns out, Andy wanted to keep the toys the whole time. The toys are happy, but the issue was he kind of realized toys are meant to be played with. They're not just sitting there on the shelf getting dust. So. He decides to donate the toys towards his neighbor named Bonnie and she could be happy with the toys and they can keep growing with them and Andy could be happy knowing the toys would be happy too. Then Toy Story 4 was invented and that <laughs> Bonnie became the <laughs> sadistic <laughs> ever. It's like they made Toy Story 4 and never watched Toy Story 1, 2, 3, and 4 and just put the worst storyline possible. I hope this <laughs> Bonnie gets robbed, taking away all her toys and she can have her little <laughs> fork and the <laughs> doll all to herself. If you never saw the movie, here's a quick summary. Woody wants to spend more time with his owner and the kid's like, what, kindergarten? But Bonnie gives no f to Woody. She literally throws him on the ground, the parents even step on him because they don't give a f about him. F you girl, that toy is worth thousands of dollars and you're stepping on that f these parents too. Do they not understand how valuable toys are? But even then, the fact that Andy gave his precious toys to Bonnie to give no f about defeats the purpose of the third movie to give it to her. He should have kept them in the attic. Woody decides to go rogue, hangs out with some other people. Forky finds out that he doesn't he just doesn't want to live anymore. He wants to kill himself. Which to be fair, that's a fair argument to get away from the Bonnie. But Woody decides he's gonna save the fork and turns out Bonnie gives no about Woody. And the other toys are like guess we gotta stick with this after that Woody's like it. I'm out. I'm just going to peace out because Bonnie doesn't want me and that's the end of the movie. Did Bonnie even know what he left? No, Bonnie gave no f Imagine Andy walking him into the door and be like, hey Bonnie, where's my favorite toy? And Bonnie's like, the f*** are you talking about? I would slap that like no tomorrow if I was Andy. Like I get it. Kids normally grow up, they don't play with some toys, you should put them away. That's totally fine. Bonnie gave up Woody in like a Mod. Like what the f Bonnie? F Toy Story 4. Just f TV remotes. Here's the issue with TV remotes. I always lose them. And I don't understand why TVs these days, they get rid of almost all the essential buttons on the side for you to use them. You know that invention? Back in the day, there used to be a remote tie that shows you where the tie is at all times. I actually f need that thing. Even though it looks like a stupid thing, I probably will use this more often because I will lose to the remote so f often. They should have like a Bluetooth detector for your TV be like, your remote is over here or something like that. At least something useful. I hate sleepovers or sleeping over at someone's place. What? Because I'm here to hang out with you. I don't want to sleep at midnight because that's normally when I sleep. I'm here to spend time with you because I rarely spend time with you. If you sleep at 1am, I will draw so many f***s on your face like no tomorrow. But the bigger reason is literally because everyone sucks at in sleeping, there's always going to be some people who snore, including myself. You have to make sure you're the first one to sleep. If you're not the first one to sleep, that guy is going to make you stay up all night long. You're racing the clock as fast as you can so you can knock yourself out to sleep. So you snore, so everyone else can hear you snore, so they can't sleep. So you make sure you're the first one so you don't get affected. If someone snores in the room and it's so loud, I will rather go outside. But I can't because of ticks. The fact that this little bug can give you Lyme disease after one bite if you don't realize in 72 hours. It is annoying and you, get, you have to go to the hospital even if you get bitten. So it's like, I do not want to hang out under the moonlight sky at nighttime like all the classic movies because a tick's gonna bite my leg. Anytime I go outdoors, I douse myself in insect spray. I make sure I don't have any loose ends around my clothing. I make sure I am in the wide open so I can never explore the forest ever again. I hate the warm side of a pillow. Imagine if you're sleeping on this side and it's the cold side of the pillow. That's the part where it's 
most comfortable because it's chill, it makes your body temperature relax and you're sleeping. But if you don't sleep in time, the whole pillow becomes warm. So you gotta flip it over and make sure you go on the cool side. You only have maybe five minutes before the pillow gets warm. So if you don't sleep in those five minutes, you have another five minutes to reset. And if the both sides of the pillow get warm, it's game over. You can't sleep anymore because the pillow's all warm. By the way, if you didn't know that was twice, I love twice. So just to let you know, those are people I know of. I hate apps that help you find keys. I actually have one of my keys right now. And this little device that tells you where your keys are, the, the batteries die after two months. And you can't replace the battery because of stupid reasons. So you have to buy a new one, which the device itself costs about 10 to 20 dollars every time you lose it or battery dies, which most likely happens. And by the time you realize the battery is dead, your keys are already lost. So it's like, what was the point of putting a 20 dollar keychain on my keychain? When you order chicken nuggets and you order 20, you go home, open the box, there's 19. I fucking hate that. Your job at McDonald's was to give me 20 nuggets. You're at least 14 years old. You should be able to count to 20. How do you it up? I know I should be pissed off, but it is literally one of my biggest rage out there. You forget my fries. Okay, well, I forgot my fries. You forgot to add lettuce on my burger. Fine, whatever. You forget one nugget, I will punch you down and you. I meant... Wow, that was... I did not realize that I was really that emotional about chicken nuggets. I hate the cereal part of Lucky Charm. When I was a kid, every time I got the cereal, I only ate marshmallows. My mom was really pissed off about that, but you know, it just, the cereal part sucked. And I don't think, what was the point of eating Lucky Charms? You went for the marshmallows, just eat the marshmallows. So as an adult, I made sure I grew up and really appreciate what Lucky Charms really had. So I bought a bag of only the marshmallows because Lucky Charms, you stupid leprechaun. This is the best part of cereal. Don't make me eat the cereal part. Pocahontas 2. Okay, back to the Disney hate train. I hated that movie because literally, I just watched the first movie. Hey, Pocahontas, uh, let's hang out. And they hang out, and then uh, goes down, people die, and then Josh Smith gets shot, and then he goes home. I remember her hooking up with John Smith. Turns out they never did. So Pocahontas 2, she basically goes to Europe and she marries John. Not John Smith, John Rolfe, which is like, what? <laughs> Where did this guy come from? In reality, in Pocahontas, John Smith kidnapped Pocahontas and John Rolfe married Pocahontas. So they were trying to be historically accurate, which is like, you don't have to Disney. You're a Disney movie. You can make up the story. You don't need to be historically accurate and make the story just flop on the floor. Like in reality, you don't need to make any of your Disney movie historically correct. Look at Cinderella. Is that like historically correct at all? Ah, huh. so it turns out Cinderella's kind of a true story where a Greek lady who is Cinderella marries to an Egyptian. I did not know any of this was real. What, where, what, what part of her is Greek? Next thing you're gonna tell me the original story of Little Mermaid, her heart is broken and she turns to dust like the Avengers. What the f That's actually real? Speaking of Spider-Man, I hate pizza guys who deliver the pizzas late. Because after 40 minutes, it's free, you feel bad because it's like, I know in reality, it's kind of hard to get to the point A to point B. You're carrying all these pizza boxes. I usually just tip the driver normally and let them go. Even if they're late by 20, 30 minutes. And then the pizza's cold. I should have gotten the free pizza if that was the case. I also hate it when you give a gift to your friend, you don't wrap them. So. Sure, whatever. I got this water bottle for my friend and I'm just gonna give them like that. And then my friend complains saying that you should have wrapped it because then it would be more effort into it. No, f you. I put enough effort in this water bottle. You should enjoy it just the way it f is. I don't care about wrapping it. I also hate fruit gushers because of the old commercials when the head kids are like, ah, I ate fruit gusher and my head exploded into fruits. Like that terrorized me as a kid because I thought that was actually real. That's why I never touched fruit crusters in my life. Man, I was a stupid kid. I'm not a stupid as bonding from Toy Story 4. And last but not least, I hate freezies. Well, no, I love freezies, but it has to be the perfect temperature. If it's too cold, then it's just eating ice cubes. If it's too warm, you're drinking sugar. The perfect one is literally the middle ground where it's the perfect state where you can enjoy it. So that's what you always set your while making the perfect shape. So all you have to do is, mm, that's refreshing. Thanks for watching. If you guys had a great time watching this, well remember to like, subscribe, and 
comment about what things you hate. Maybe I'll talk about that in my next video. For now, I'm just going to enjoy this freezy the way it is, the perfect state. Not perfect enough.